Okay, so I'm just going to go over a few things that you need to um, have uh, together before you get started on these tutorials. I tend to use a few uh, applications when I'm working on websites, and you'll see me using it, so I figured I'd just go over it right now uh, so you know that um, what I'm doing and why I'm pulling up certain applications. So FileZilla is a FTP uh, software. It's a free FTP software. And I have that on my computer. I tend to use it to upload and download information uh, between my computer and the website that I'm working on. And uh, you might want to download the client. You can see this is where you download the client at filezilla-project.org. And you may also want to, or instead, you may want to just go to your hosting company and use their online FTP uh, software. I know GoDaddy has one, and you can also go to GoDaddy or whoever your hosting company is and just ask them for the host name, uh, a username, and a password for FTP. And when you download um, your FTP client, like FileZilla, that's what you'll need to uh, access your server to get your files from your website or to upload new files to your website. And I'll quickly go over how to do that with um, GoDaddy if you are on GoDaddy. So uh, if you are on GoDaddy, you just go to GoDaddy.com and click on My Account and then just log in. So now you have to go to Hosting. You can do that here under My Products or you can scroll down and click on Web Hosting under Products. So click that. and then click launch next to the hosting account that you're going to use uh, for your website and you click on your files up here at the top of the web of the um, page so click that and as you can see here it now shows you everything that's on your um, server and you can go up here to upload files you can click on upload And you can browse your own computer to upload files and then click upload once you've picked uh, a file. And it's that simple. So that's how you can use GoDaddy to access your server instead of using another application like FileZilla. Um, and if you just have that your one website, then you might just want to use your own hosting company's FTP software instead of using uh, another one. And you will also need Firefox, the web browser Firefox. And you can get that for free and download it at Mozilla uh, Firefox. Uh, here's the actual link up here. And I use Firefox because it has a few um, add-ons that are pretty good and helpful when it comes to developing websites, especially um, CMS websites like uh, Joomla. Um, CMS meaning customer management um, system uh, websites they're pretty robust and it can be difficult to find where certain CSS elements are and um, Firefox has a few add-ons that help you with that so the first add-on that I use a lot is uh, Firebug go to getfirebug.com and install that onto your Firefox browser for free and it helps a lot with finding where certain things are on the website that you might want to replace or change. And Web Developer is another one that I use to uh, find out certain sizes for different parts of a uh, website. So right now I'm using Chrome as my browser for this tutorial. I use Chrome a lot because it's a faster browser, but I tend to switch back and forth to um, Firefox uh, just to get those, get that help that I need uh, to develop a website. So that's another thing you might want to use. You may not need it if you're just going to use the, uh, a template, uh, but you may still need it. Even if you're just going to use a template, you may have issues with trying to find the logo and replacing it. So those are um, applications that you may find useful, and I do use it sometimes. And last but nice not least, excuse me, you will need a template. Uh, you should get a template in the beginning of developing your website. 
you will find that you can switch back and forth between different templates when you uh, add your template to your site at Ninjoomla. And once you get started on styling your site based on a certain template, if it, for some reason you decide to look, look at how it looks with another template, you'll find if you go back to the old one, the styling has been replaced with the default version of that template and all your work will be gone. Uh, I would suggest at that point that you would uh, back up your site before you start switching around to different templates. But just to be uh, on the safe side, I would just pick a template and stick with it, at least through the creation of your site, and then back it up. And then if you want to switch around, switch around again and then uh, restore your old site that you've um, started. And uh, so that's why I, I say to get a template first and stick with that template uh, while you're building your site. And you can go here to Template Monster to get a lot of Joomla templates. They can be kind of pricey, but not too pricey, around 50, 60, maybe 70 bucks. And uh, they got a lot of, this is Flash, but they've got Joomla templates. You can go down here to Products and click Joomla and Apply and Search. And as you can see, they've got a lot of choices here for Joomla templates. And you can also go to themeforest.net and you can type in Joomla here. And all the templates related to Joomla are here. They have they don't have as many choices, but they are a little more reasonably priced. And um, you can scroll over and see what they look like in general. And these are pretty nice templates. And they're just a little more affordable. And you can also get even more affordable choices with getting a Photoshop document. Go just type in PSD. And you can see Photoshop document layouts that are pretty nice. That's a nice one. And that's nice. And they're even more affordable. And if you're familiar with CSS and HTML, you might find yourself um, having more fun just p plugging in certain images in certain places based on the Photoshop documents that you purchase here. So, um, also, there's another site called SiteGround, and there are other sites that uh, out there like SiteGround that have a lot of uh, free Joomla templates. So SiteGround has a few, a lot, actually. And um, just make sure you get the Joomla 1.5 templates in all of these um, template websites. Uh, that is what I um, no, I, I know Joomla 1.5, not 1.0, and I'll be teaching 1.5. That's the latest version of Joomla. So uh, just make sure you get a 1.5 template. And last but not least, you can go to my website and go into resources at earlybirdtechie.com or aliyyrobinson.com. And there's a lot of helpful tools, a lot of the links to the applications that I mentioned in this tutorial are there. So that is it and I will see you in the next tutorial.